like acupuncture performed on fragile scraps of ancient parchment. This fragment of the Dead Sea Scrolls painstakingly prepared for a new initiative launched by the Israeli Antiquities Authority. Over the next two years, the authority will use the latest technology to digitally photograph and scan every little bit of crumbling parchment and papyrus that makes up the Dead Sea Scrolls collection and post them all on the World Wide Web for anyone, experts or the simply curious to see. It's widely believed that the first Dead Sea Scrolls were found in 1947 by a Bedouin shepherd who ventured into a cave in these hills in search of a lost sheep or goat. Eventually, 11 caves were found to contain scrolls, some of them more than 2,000 years old. And since the time of that first discovery, the belief has lived on that whoever controls access to the scrolls is hiding something. The scrolls include the oldest known copy of the Hebrew Bible and other texts that shed light on life in the Holy Land around the time of Christ. The purpose of this initiative is to lay it all bare. Trying to show the world there's no conspiracy. On the contrary, these scrolls bring together peoples of the world because they show our common origins. The Antiquities Authority has assembled an international team, not of archaeologists or linguists, but rather technical wizards to reveal the scrolls as never before. We've already, just by applying the latest infrared technologies and shooting at very high detail, lots of resolution, we're already opening up new characters um, from the scrolls that are either extremely indistinct or you just couldn't see them before. Greg Behrman worked in NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, where he pioneered new uses for optical so technology. The switch over to digital uh, is really the way to go, and, and people were resistant to it initially because it was a new way of, of doing stuff. They want their light tables and their magnifying glass. Also on the team, Tom Lianza, one of the inventors of the color scanner. In the, in the motion picture, you take an idea and you bring it out, bring it out to the world. What they're doing on this project is they're taking the scrolls and they're bringing them out to the world. It's, uh, it's very, very similar. Uh, the, the thing that you like about this project is that it uses common technology in a very, very arcane, you know, very, very uh, strange, for me, the whole archaeology, archaeology world is very, very odd. Arcane indeed but no longer the domain of the scholarly few. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Jerusalem.